Today is October 25th, 2023, and the water you see behind me is the first flows of the Colorado River going through the connectivity channel. It's a good thing, it's about 30 years in the making. This is certainly one of the most significant and exciting days of my entire career. This is the largest aquatic habitat connectivity project that's ever been undertaken in the history of the state. It's a big deal. It's extremely exciting to see the water flowing. It's been decades in the making and can't express the gratitude we have for our crews and all the workers. Seeing that first wave of water come down was just amazing. It's been a long time coming. It's a huge accomplishment, huge milestone for the project, for the river, uh, for the environmental uplift of the whole system. We're taking a new embankment and placing it within the center line of the existing Windy Gap Reservoir, where half of it will become the reservoir, and then we've got our connectivity channel, which runs on the south side of that. What that provides is a connection upstream to the Fraser and the Colorado, and then all the way downstream as well, which will allow for fish passage, sediment passage, really helping river health. That's the target of this project. We had some packages that started a little bit earlier than August last year, but in earnest, that's really when we got going. We're approaching the end of our second season of construction up on the connectivity channel. We're pushing it just as much as we can here, seeing how winter sets in on us. We've completed the dam embankment, all but just the final touches. We're gonna be putting water in that reservoir. We do plan on doing our first fill here this upcoming month. We'll bring water in and bring it up slowly and then monitor how our dam and how our embankment is reacting to that water. We are still working on some of the components of the connectivity channel, primarily a lot of the floodplain, getting that all set up and two grade as well as replanted. And then the diversion structure will need some work next year as well. But the connectivity channel is flowing water. So with that, we anticipate full completion of the project next fall in 2024. And then after that, we'll have about two years of reclamation and vegetation establishment. And then that 2027 season is when we're hoping to have it fully open to the public for fishing access and recreation. Uh, a lot more work still to go, but this should really, really heal our river. I'm just excited to be here and to watch this, this first day of flow. This concept has been in the works for decades since before my time. And so to be able to be here when this actually comes to fruition is pretty thrilling. This couldn't have happened without a large coalition of partners to see this thing through. We have a great partnership here with Grand County, Trout Unlimited, Colorado River District, and many others. We're very proud of that. We're proud of the fact that we're able to partner with many West Slope entities as well as others and corporate sponsors and ensure that this project is a success all the way around for the biology of it and for the public.